everyone. I'm so excited to see you again. This week is all about pets. Do you have a pet at home? I have a cat. He is big and fluffy and orange and his name is Seamus. What's your pet's name? Oh, that's good. Sometimes we can always have pets that are pretend too, our stuffies. Are we ready to go? Okay, so first we're gonna have some books and then some songs and other stories and a craft. But first, like I said, we're gonna have our first book and it's called The Bunny Rabbit Show by Sandra Boynton. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Hello, I just want to say it's the Bunny Rabbit Show. Here we go. We are 10 terrific rabbits and we like to dance and sing. 10 terrific rabbits, we can do most anything. We're very good at hopping. We're hopping in a row. We're not so good at stopping. It's the Bunny Rabbit Show. You can tell that we are rabbits for our ears are very long and our noses always quiver when we sing the rabbit song. Oh. We are 10 terrific rabbits and we like to dance and sing. 10 terrific rabbits, we can do most anything. We're very good at jumping. We look like, just look what we can do. Bunnies here and bunnies there. A bunny tree for you. But if you're not a rabbit, don't worry, it's okay. Just find yourself some bunny ears and you'll be on your way. Hey, we are all terrific rabbits and we want the world to know it's the bunny. That's right. It's the bunny tonight. It's the bunny rabbit show. Thank you very much. Yay. Some people have bunnies as pets. Maybe you do. They're very fluffy and they hop around and they have very, very cute little noses. They go like this and they make little chirpy sounds. They're good pets. There's lots of other different kinds of pets too, like dogs and cats and fish and turtles. Maybe you have one of those. Okay, so we're gonna have some songs. First, we're gonna have our hello song. Are you ready? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Yay! How are you today? Do you feel happy? Do you feel tired? I'm feeling happy today. Outside it is snowing. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so now today we are going to have some more songs all about pets. So this is the first song. I have a pet. He is a dog and he says woof, 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 woof. I have a pet, she is a cat and she says meow, 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 meow. I have a pet, he is a mouse and he says squeak, 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 squeak. Woof, woof, meow, meow, squeak, squeak. I have a pet, he is a bird and he says, tweet, 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 tweet. I have a pet, she is a fish. And she says, glub, 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 glub. I have a lion, he is my pet. And he says, roar, 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 roar. Tweet, tweet, glub, glub, roar. Yay! That's a pretty funny song, right? Because. I don't know anyone who has a lion as a pet. Wow. So now we're gonna do another song about a kitty. And some of you might know this song. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Lazy kitty, pretty kitty, purr, purr, purr. Soft kitty, warm kitty, 
Little ball of fur, lazy kitty, pretty kitty, purr, purr, purr. And now we're gonna do another song that you might know the tune, because it's from Bingo, and we're gonna do it about a cat. Are you ready to go? Okay. I know a cat with perky ears, and kitty is her name, oh. K-I-T-T-Y, 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 and kitty is her name, oh. She makes a sound and it's meow, and kitty is her name, oh. K-I-T-T-Y, 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 and kitty is her name, oh. Yay! So now we're going to do an more songs, and this one is to the sound of I'm a Little Teapot but it's about a cat. Are you ready? Okay. I'm a little cat, soft and furry. I'll be your friend, so don't you worry. Right up on your lap, I love to hop. A purr, 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 and I'll never stop. Yay! So now we're going to do a song that you might know, Mary Had a Little Lamb but this we're gonna do with a cat. Are we ready? Mary had a little cat, little cat, little cat. Mary had a little cat, his fur was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the cat was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day. Oh yes, the cat knew how. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to hear the cat meow. So now we are going to make our craft. Today we're going to make a doggy. Are you ready? So this is what you need. You need scissors, a stapler or tape, a marker, two different colors of paper, and then some glue. Are you ready? Okay. So we're gonna make a very long dog, like a hot dog dog. Have you seen those? Those long dogs, they're very tiny. So you're going to cut a bunch of pieces of paper. You're going to cut them out. So they're all the same length, like this. And then you're going to start to make hoops that connect. So I'm going to take our stapler and put it in the middle. And then you're going to pick an, a different color and make it go through the hoop, like this. And then you're going to go back and forth and back and forth. I have brown and white. Okay, so we made our body. So now we have to make our faces. So I'm gonna make him have a brown face. So you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna make a long oval for his face. And you're gonna cut it out. going to draw on some eyes and a nose and then a mouth maybe some whiskers some whiskers okay and then I'm also going to cut out some white for some ears
going to grab my glue and I'm going to stick the ears to the back of his head. Okay, so there's my doggy so far, the front. And then we're going to take some glue on the back of your thing and we're going to stick it to our body, the main body. See? And then, if you want, you can give him a long tail. And you can use your glue again. And there is my doggy. And then you can also, if you if you want, you can cut some out and put some feet on, whatever you want. But my doggy is going to be sleeping and lying down. So you can always pause the video and go get some flies and then you can watch the video again and make the craft. So now my whole area is very dirty. So I'm going to clean up. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. Okay, clean up my space. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna have our second book. And this one is called Kitten's Day Out by Heather Amory and Stephen Cartwright. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boots, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. Ted works on the farm. He is helping Mrs. Brand, the truck driver. Mr. Brand has brought some sacks of food for the cows. They say goodbye to Mr. Brand. Mr. Brand waves as he drives his truck out of the farmyard. Ted and Poppy wave back. Where's my kitten? Where's Fluff, says Sam. They all look everywhere for Fluff, but they can't find her. Perhaps she jumped on the truck. Take my car and go after the truck, Ted, says Mrs. Boot. They jump in the car and drive off. Ted stops the car at the crossroads. Which way did Mr. Brand go, says Ted. There's a truck, says Sam, just going around the bend. Ted drives down a steep hill. Look out, Ted, says Poppy. There's a stream at the bottom. The car splashes into the water. The car stops in the stream. Water in the engine, says Ted. I'll have to push. We'll never find the truck now, says Sam. Ted looks inside the car. He mops out all the water, so he, soon he gets the car to start again. They drive on to look for the truck. There are lots of sheep on the road. The sheep came out of the field. Someone left the gate open, says Ted. We must get them back. Ted, Poppy, and Sam round up the sheep. They drive them back to the field. Ted shuts the gate. Come on, we must hurry, says Sam. Stop, Ted, there's a truck. I'm sure that's Mr. Brand's truck in that farmyard, says Sam. Ted drives in to see. It's the wrong truck. Oh dear, says Poppy. It's not Mr. Brand, and that's not Mr. Brand's truck. Ted drives him home. We'll never find my kitten now, says Sam. I'm sure she'll turn up, says Poppy. There's a surprise at Apple Tree Farm. Here's your kitten, says Mr. Brand. She's been in my truck all day. Now I've brought her home. Yay! So now we're gonna have some more songs. Okay, so this song is the same tune as if you're happy and you know it, but it's about a dog. Are we ready to go? Okay. There's a doggy at the door, at the door. There's a doggy at the door, at the door. There's a doggy at the door, who could ever ask for more? There's a doggy at the door, at the door. 
There's a doggy in the house, in the house. There's a doggy in the house, in the house. There's a doggy in the house. Are you sure it's not a mouse? There's a doggy in the house, in the house. There's a doggy on the stair, on the stair. There's a doggy on the stair, on the stair. There's a doggy on the stair. Doesn't anybody care? There's a doggy on the stair, on the stair. There's a doggy in the hall, in the hall. There's a doggy in the hall, in the hall. Well, he's playing with a ball. The little doggy in the hall. There's a doggy in the hall, in the hall. There's a doggy in my room, in my room. There's a doggy in my room, in my room. There's a doggy in my room. Now he's chewing on a broom. There's a little doggy in my room, in my room. There's a doggy on my bed, on my bed. There's a doggy on my bed, on my bed. Now he's licking at my head. The little doggy on the bed. There's a doggy on my bed, on my bed. Yay! So now we are going to sing a song that is the same song, like when you're listening to it, as Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Okay, it's all about our pets. Love, love, love your pets. Love them every day. Give them food and water too. Then let them run and play. Love, love, love your pets. Love them every day. Give them food and water too. Then let them run and play. Yay! So now we're going to do a song about six little doggies. Are we ready? Six little doggies I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, pale ones too. But there was one little dog with a brown curly hair. He led the others with a gur gur gur, a gur gur gur. He led the others with a gur gur gur. Yay! I love puppies, but I don't have one. Maybe someday. You never know. So now we are going to read our last book. And this one is called Sophie's Tales, Overcoming Obstacles by Melanie Patikoff and illustrated by Chrissy Bales. So this is a book about a dog, but it also is a book about a dog who has a cochlear implant. So here we go. Get ready, Sophie. It's your first day of agility, my owner says excitedly. I'm not sure why walking through tunnels is such a big fuss, but humans seem to really like watching me do it. We arrive at a big field with red, yellow, and blue ramps, tunnels, cones set up everywhere. There are tons of dogs, big and small, black, brown, and white. This looks fun. A wiry-haired dog that looks more like a horse trots up to me. I am Champ the Labradoodle part Labrador, part Poodle, and I will be today's agility winner. There can only be one champion. Hi Champ, I'm Sophie, the Multipoo, so I'm part Poodle too. I'm just here to try my best and have fun. Sophie, there is no point in trying if you're not going to win. Winning is the only thing that's fun. Champ and I part ways and I get ready for our first race. I line up with the other dogs and through my cochlear implant, I hear the words. On your mark, get set, go. I'm off, up the ramp, down the ramp, through the tunnel, between the cones. My little heart is racing, but as I look, to, I look towards the finish line, I can already, already see Champ's long legs striding into first place. I am Champ the Labradoodle and I am a champion. Champ prances, prances delightfully to his owner, Daniel. I run to mine who strokes me while I lap up some water. The second race is about to begin and there are fewer dogs competing than before. I weave between cones and I realize that I'm in the lead this time. The other dogs are behind me. Could I really win this race? I'm almost there. Enjoy second place, Slowpoke. Champ wishes past me and wins again. I am Champ, the Labradoodle, and I am champion. Maybe Champ was right. Maybe winning is the only thing that's fun. The final race has come, down to Champ versus me. I look at the, the new obstacle course. Can I jump over those hurdles faster than Champ can with his long legs? I have to. I'll show Champ who the slowpoke is. He won't be the champion any longer. Three, two, one, and I'm off. 
One jump, two jumps, I'm soaring through the air, and Champ is nowhere to be found. I turn my head to show Champ my winning smile, but I'm shocked to see that he hasn't left the starting line. If I keep going, I'll beat Champ, I'll win. But Champ looks sad, sitting back there. The audience gasps as I turn around. Champ, Champ, what's wrong? Are you hurt, I asked. It's the jumps, Champ says sadly. I'm afraid my glasses might fall off and I won't be able to see. I understand. Champ, look at my ear. Sometimes I worry that my cochlear implant might fall off and I won't be able to hear. Let's run together. If your glasses come off, I can help you find them. And if my implant comes off, you can help me. Together we run and we jump once, twice, three times. When we cross the finish line, there is no winner, it's a tie. I'm sorry you didn't get to win, Champ, I say. But I did win, Champ explains. Making a friend like you is the best prize of all. Yay! That was a good story. So it's been so fun today, all about pets. So I hope when you get home or at home, you hug your pet. You hug your dog or your cat, or you go up to your fish and you say, I love you, fish, or a turtle, or a bunny, whatever you have. Or if you have a pretend dog, you can totally hug him tight. So now we are going to sing the goodbye song, and I will see you next week. If you want more things to do all about pets, just look at our newsletter, and there's lots of videos and activities to do. And I will see you next week. The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.